Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. It's been a while, but uh, today we are going to go over some mods on this table that will hopefully prevent this from happening again while traversing this very uneven shop floor. I've been a bit busy with other projects at home, but while I've been gone, I've been slowly acquiring parts that I feel like was necessary for upgrade. Mainly this, uh, I think it's 75 gallon pool liner or pond liner, which should be more than enough to hold all the water in this water tray, which should be about 65 gallon. Some other popular mods that I've seen is this wall mount or the um, articulating arm for the very rigid monitor over there. So I want to do that. And uh, obviously all the plumbing needed for the water tray for the tank above below. So, uh, and then the last thing actually is, I don't even know where it went. Here we go. These uh, stepper or the, the ball screw has a screw that you're supposed to shove grease into, but it's not really easy to pack grease into. And uh, I had attempted to put a Zerg fitting on it, which it seems to work okay. It does have a clearance issue with this screw, though I think it's now self-clearance itself, but uh, this Zerg fitting is actually really hard to grease on the stepper motors on the side. So I've resorted to buying a different style of a grease fitting, which uh, I guess we'll go over later in the video. So, but uh, for the meantime, I will try to assess how to get this set up under the table and all the plumbing and all the water drainage and such. Maybe even explore dimpling this water tray like some other people I've seen online done. So maybe we'll try to do that too. I think this is a good start. I got the wood down there to hold my container. And uh, because this table is still full of water, I've uh, decided to use gravity to help me drain this so I can get to the existing drain bolt somewhere here to add the fittings. I'm still trying to decide because this table is split into four pans. One, two, three, four, whether I want to drill or cut two holes out in the middle two pans so they all drain and try to dimple them so I can drain all the water out. That's still in debate. I did buy enough hardware to do all of that, but uh, let's uh, give it a second to finish draining and maybe I'll clean up this table so I can get to everything underneath it. All right, so this is the new drain I have and I lied, I only have two, so I'm not gonna cut out the two in the center, and I guess I'll find out how well this works. I happen to have this knockout punch from Harbor Freight that happens to have this knockout that is about the right size for this to fit in. So this is what I'm gonna try to make the dimple with. And then I made this spacer that was sitting there and I will try to use this to hopefully dimple this uh, hole right here.
to happen. I guess the flare was too big and now the hole is just very massive and the bottom of the knockout die is kind of stuck. So let me figure out how to get this out and see how or what I can do about this uh, awkward situation. All right, so I've been a little busy and I came up with this as a solution. Uh, on my previous table, I had made myself a custom water tray and I had welded a bung to the bottom to screw fittings into. So I ended, I decided I'm gonna do the same here. I made this oversized flange for this uh, whoopsie I made here, but uh, I mean, it'll go on the underside but at least it fits in this hole now and uh, I'll weld it from it'll come up from the bottom side and I'll just weld this here so and then I made three extras one for this hole conveniently sized to fit perfectly and then uh, since I've made these myself I think I will try to cut two more holes in the middle two trays for these extra two. I have all of this plumbed up as you can see and 
there's a small pump which is why this kind of flows kind of slow which I'm okay with but if I need to want to upgrade it shouldn't be too bad but I think the real problem is I didn't anticipate the sidewall of this pond liner to bow out so much or at all so I think uh, I will need to investigate why this is and what I can do to hold its shape. My thought was maybe when I, I plan on making a lid so all the moisture will stay in the container and maybe adding lips on the lid so it won't want to bow out. So maybe I'll try that and see what happens. For now, I am hoping to drain the tank below so it can go back to its original shape. been a while I've gotten a lot done as you saw I got this monitor arm done so now I can swivel this and whatever which way I had to make a new mount for it because it didn't really work for where I had it, it doesn't rise very high but works good enough standing up and sitting down in a chair and it gets out of my way so I can potentially not hit it while loading material or just moving around the shop while not using it. Use the old mount to mount this uh, power strip I had laying around. And uh, off camera, I went ahead and cut some sheet, galvanized sheet metal I had and made a cover for this pond liner reservoir thing. And so the last thing I have left to do was if I can find it, I don't know where it went, was to replace, give me a second, all right, found it, was to replace these uh, grease fittings, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, these ball screws came with a set screw and it made it really hard to grease these bearings or ball screws so I got the zerg fitting but the zerg fitting currently hits this nut or screw sometimes and it's really hard to grease 
in the bottom one down here. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and replace these really quick. All right, so it might be hard to see, but the Zerg fitting takes a special type of uh, grease gun. This one happened to be a 90 degree one that I use for other applications, but basically shove this in to push the ball in and then you could start pumping. I was able to see some of the grease come out the back side. So I'm gonna do this to the rest of them real quick. So that's how you grease this uh, new Zerg fitting. I just find it interesting that Langmuir comes with this sticker that says keep all nuts lubricated with the grease gun but they don't really provide a way to easily grease your ball nuts I still have a whole bag of these left so what I think I'm gonna do is if anyone out there also has an XR table and tags me on their IG with this hashtag or my Instagram account then uh, I will message you and I will mail you out three of these nuts or zerg fittings uh, and it will just be left up to you to figure out how to grease them uh, or if you have the right grease cut adapter then good on you but yeah tag me on IG in the first five users of an XR table will get a Zerg fitting from me and uh, that'll wrap it up for this episode I'm um, not sure what I'm gonna do next but there's quite a few shop upgrades I need to get done but uh, see you next time